Hey Dashboard fans! Boy, do I have some exciting stuff to show you guys. My name is Samaya Siddiqui. I'm a Technical Solutions Specialist at Esri Canada in Toronto. So, I read all of the documentation for Operations Dashboard for ArcGIS. So if you haven't, don't you worry. While I was on my quest to master all that is Ops Dashboard, I discovered a lot of functionality I was never aware of. So let me show you some dashboard secrets that aren't really secrets. So starting off simple, I would first like to show you how you can create a copy of your dashboard. So up here where we have the save button, we can click this little drop down and a save as option will appear. Here we can change our title. We can add or remove any tags. We can create a summary and we can also select where we would like this copy to be saved. So I'm going to select my root folder. Once I hit that save button, that same copy we just made will pop up in editing mode and here we can make any edits to this dashboard. If I go back to my content and I open up my root folder, you'll see that that dashboard is saved here. In order to group two or more elements together, I'm going to go to my elements option list. And before I drag my item, I'm going to hit the shift key on my keyboard. And once I start dragging it, uh, you'll see that the box is green as opposed to the usual blue. Now I'm going to position it with my element I would like to group it with. And then once I hit that expand button, both those elements are going to expand together. This is the City of Edmonton Programs, Courses, and Camps dashboard. And what you can actually do is give it some inputs like the date you're able to start, which days you're available, which age group you're in, and maybe even a category you're interested in. And what it will do is filter out this available programs list in the middle and give you some programs that are best suited to your needs. Now, what I've actually done is I've configured each of these elements to this recreational facility layer in my contents as opposed to the rec programs layer in the web map. So what you can see is this web map is not really being used for anything. And I can go in and I can delete this element and you'll see that the dashboard is still dynamically linked. Here I've got a pie chart with about 35 food categories. And if I need to clean up my pie chart, I can group my values by percentage thresholds. And what I can actually do is by inputting a figure in this grouping percentage box right over here, my field values with the percentage below that number will be grouped into an other category. So for example, if I put a grouping percentage of three, any category below that percentage will be grouped into this other category right over here. Next, I'll be showing you how you can quickly convert values and have them displayed on your dashboard. So in this example, I have some weather stations in Canada and I would like to use this temperature field, which is in Celsius, convert it into Fahrenheit and then display that. So I'll check off this value conversion. I'll put in my factor value and also my offset. And just like that, I'll have this conversion. And then I can make it into a card. Now let's take a look how we can create these custom SVG icons in our indicator and gauge elements. So first I used a free PNG to SVG online converter to create an SVG of my image. Next, I'm going to view my image in Google Chrome. I'm going to open up my developer console and I'm going to copy this SVG code right over here. Here I'm back in my dashboard and I'm configuring my indicator card. I've already added some text to give some context of what I'm going to be showing. And what I want to do is right beside this 205, I want to put that custom icon I just made so everybody knows how many cheese slices I'm consuming. So right where it says icon, I'm going to click left. And Esri already provides some icons for you that you can choose. But here I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to paste my SVG code. Once I do that, I can hit OK. And there you have it. 
Now, obviously having my face on an indicator card may not be the most useful or functional thing, but you can probably imagine the possibilities, like being able to use your organization's logo as an icon. Something cool you can also do is use the embed content element to integrate other ArcGIS products for a more engaging and visual dashboard. So what I'm going to be go doing is going through two examples that use this functionality. Firstly, the Halton School Region Trip Counter Dashboard app was created to encourage students to get to school more actively. And what the region actually did was they used the embedded content element and integrated Survey123. And they created this form, allowing students to input their school, their method of getting there, and how many meters they actually traveled. Now, once a student hits submit, all of these elements are dynamically updated. Our next example is the 311 citizen request for service for the city of Baton Rouge. And what they've done here is they've used that same embedded content element and they've embedded a dashboard within a dashboard, something I like to call Dashception. So each tab down here is another dashboard. And something cool they've done if, is they've linked these inputs up here to the dashboard below. So I can choose a neighborhood, for example, and this dashboard will get filtered to that neighborhood. Something I really want to bring into the spotlight is the ArcGIS solution site. It provides the Esri community with free industry specific configurations for ArcGIS. And I recommend everybody visit the gallery. So what I've done here is I've filtered by my product, which is Operations Dashboard for ArcGIS. And what I've come up with is a bunch of ready-to-use templates for different industries. So let's go in and let's see what's in Damage Assessment. So once you open that up, you'll see a brief overview. Also, what re software requirements you need, what applications you need, and exactly what you get. So for example, you get your dashboard, you get your map, you get some surveys, and also some feature layers. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you picked up on some tips and tricks for Operations Dashboard. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and comment below if you have any suggestions for future videos. This is Samaya Siddiqui signing off. Happy dashboarding!